uh, assault weapon bans and, and pushing our, our federal legislators to do something about it uh, is, are not in denial of what's going on in this country in our own backyard. Uh, it kind of really touched me when I, the uh, Mo who did the signs, where is she? Uh, of all those people, when you look at their faces, uh, it's really moving and I want to thank you for that because that makes it even more real uh, on what we look at and what we hear and what we deal with every day. All I can tell you that is, is our responsibility as people, as citizens of this country, to continue to push our federal legislators, our Congress and our senators to work hard on making something happen in Washington. Um, we clearly need as strong gun legislation as we humanly possibly can have, but we need to push our federal legislators and make it an issue that they talk about. It seems that for some reason or another, this group like Moms Demand Action and other groups are out here rallying. We're in, in retrospect, this lawn should be filled from that end to that end, across the street, down the highway. And for those who don't think that it can happen in your own backyard, don't be naive. Mental health is a serious issue in this country. COVID has triggered something in this nation of, as it was, I was reminded of loneliness, isolation, uh, the social media, the rhetoric that we see every day, of uh, the negative uh, tones of people, are some of our leaders' negative tones, um, some of the stuff that comes out of, out of D.C. and what people say just blows my mind. And I'm not going to take a lot of time because I know I want to introduce the next speaker. I, I just thought, okay, what can I say that, that I can relate this to? You know, when I was a kid growing up, and I grew up with eight brothers and sisters, and we all watched out for each other in a sense. But we were always told, don't talk to strangers. You know, when you're walking home from school, somebody come slow, to look, don't look at them, just walk faster, go to a neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. Now, that was the worst thing that you could think of when you were a kid growing up. Now you have drills in, in schools for, for you know, active shooters and, and supermarkets and just standing on a street corner. Uh, so it's really, it really has gotten to the point where um, our society has taken a turn um, and it is up to us and it is up to you to continue the fight and talk about it and speak about it, uh, not get into verbal arguments um, on your position, but you know, just remind people what it does to, to a family. When you, when you see somebody who has kids and is, you know, isn't affected and don't pay attention to it, well, this could happen to your children. Um, and you know, all you gotta do is just take a walk right down those aisles right there and uh, it's moving. So thank you again. Thank you for letting me come here and welcome you.